the installation of ZYD rotary vibrating screen, cross mesh and fine mesh network structure. One, installation of under frame. One, fit the small V-shaped seating ring to the under edge of the under frame. Lay it on the vibrating body and balance around. Two, fit the small clamp ring to the vibrating body and under frame. Hit around the clamp ring while tightening the nut to the clamp until it is tightened enough. Two, installation of the fine mesh cloth. One. Lay the complete the net rack with the cross mesh cloth on the working table. Put PU rings on the cross mesh. Place the two bouncing balls into each PU ring. Two. Put the perforated plate on the front edge of the net rack. Secure it to the net rack with the three screws. Overturn the net rack in 180 degrees. 3. Lay the fine mesh cloth on the coarse mesh cloth. Balance it around. Fit the binding ring to the fine mesh cloth. Press it to the net rack along around with the binding ring. 4. Cut the surplus fine mesh cloth around the net rack. Then turn up the mesh cloth edge against the binding ring. Assemble the perforated plate and net rack together with a big rubber U-shaped ring. Three, installation of net rack and upper frame. One, lay the net rack on the under frame. Make the perforated plate downward. Fit the upper frame on the net rack. 2. Mount the under frame, net rack, and the upper frame with a big clamp ring. Then hit around the clamp ring while tightening the nut to the clamp until it is tightened enough. 4. Installation of dust cover. 1. Fit the small V shaped seam ring to the dust cover. Put the dust cover to the upper edge of the upper frame, making sure aligned around. 2. Mount the upper frame in the dust cover with a small binding ring. Hit around the clamp ring while tightening the nut to the clamp until it is tightened enough. 5. Debugging 1. Remove the base cover plate. Loosen the screws on the under eccentric block of the motor. Hold the upper eccentric block with one hand through the access door of the vibrating body. Turn the under eccentric block to the correct angle with the other hand. Then tighten the screws of the under eccentric block. 2. According to the properties of the material, adjust the intersection angle between the upper and under eccentric blocks generally 15 to 90 degrees. The larger the angle between the upper and the lower waist, the more likely material's coverage to the seat center. The smaller the angle is, the faster the material is decentralized.